Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to show you guys how to paint a uh, cheesecake with watercolors. I had been doing this recently in a sketchbook and I decided to show you how to paint it. <laughs> so the first thing I do is start with a sketch. I did a little rough sketch here of just a basic cake slice and then I just went back and refined it. I decided to include this bit for you guys just so you could see my process and if you wanted to try and like follow along a little bit more precisely uh, this is how uh, I drew it and then I drew three strawberries on top. I did them as whole strawberries. I didn't do the leaves but like whole strawberry. <laughs> uh, just these rounded large triangle shapes and then this dripping sauce on the top and it drips on the side so that is basically the entire drawing it's super easy to draw that's why I really like doing this is because it's super simple and you can replicate it super easy if you needed to or wanted to so that's one of my favorite things about it uh here you can include a crest line if you want to I did a little bit but I found it wasn't super necessary whenever going back um, with paint. So I just lightly erased the sketch and then I took uh, my white and one brilliant, I believe, and made this kind of like cream color. It's a little bit peachy, but like this peachy cream color. And I ended up diluting it just a little bit because I, my initial um, bit was a little bit too dark for me. But I ended up just doing this for all of the cheesecake. And you can definitely change this to maybe be a little bit more yellow and maybe not so much peachy. Uh, maybe make it look a little bit more like a baked cheesecake. And this one definitely, I mean this one does look like a baked cheesecake. But if you wanted to kind of incorporate some more of the cooked parts if you wanted. Um, you could do that as well with, uh, some darker, like, peachy colors or darker yellow or, like, a warm brown tone. Um, so you could definitely do that with this technique. After I did the cheesecake color, I then moved on to the strawberries. Uh, I apologize, you can't really see any of my mixing here. But for the strawberries, I just did a red color. Um, this is my Shinhan red, and that's just what I used for the strawberries. While I'm letting these strawberries dry, I have a mixture of yellow ochre and maybe burnt sienna. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I used this for the crust. I really liked the color because, I mean, it really made me think of graham crackers. So that's, I mean, obviously why I, why I used it as the crust. But I thought it looked um, really good next to the cream color. And I do kind of wish it was slightly darker. And I should have done this on the while I was with my watercolors. And I don't know why I didn't. And, I don't know <laughs> but I was just thinking um, after and editing this like uh, this could have been a little bit darker and while the strawberries are still drying I ended up taking a little bit of a diluted of this graham cracker color and just outlined the main lines of the cheesecake like the tri the top triangle um, where the sauce doesn't hit and the edge like pointed of the triangle. <laughs> now that the strawberries have dried, I take a mixture of the red that I used for the strawberries and then a purple-ish like red color. I really don't know what color it is that I ended up using. <laughs> um, but it's basically just more of a purple um, and darker color for the sauce. I wanted the strawberries to be lighter. Um, and I ended up making a little bit of a mistake, making the strawberries a little bit darker than I originally did. Um, I should have made them just a little bit lighter so that they stood out more and so that way they don't blend in with the sauce because even though they're two different colors, they were competing a little bit in saturation so there was not enough um, definition there that, for me anyway, that they stood out. Um, so that was so one thing um just make sure one or the other is lighter so that they stand out or unless you're doing some sort of line art um that can help but especially when doing lineless like i am here it is definitely important to keep your colors um saturation straight so 
Okay, and so for the last details, I'm going to go in with my white gel pen and just kind of refine the sauce and the strawberries just a little bit more. I'm going to line them um, where they're touching the sauce and then add some of their seeds. This definitely helps kind of break up um, like the, and kind of hide the fact that they're pretty much the same color. <laughs> um, so that helped a little bit and I think it looks really good whenever you add the white highlights on um, something like this. It just adds that a little bit more of a realism effect to it. So I really like how it looks. And that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun with this. It's super simple and really easy to do. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.